Hey guys, it's great to be with you again. I'm here with Dr. Nancy Daniel. Hey Dr. George, good to be here with you. Oh, it's great to be with you all. Sorry we haven't been making many videos lately because we've been so busy. It's such a, um, a hectic time and we bless your homes and your families and your jobs and businesses. And we want to thank you uh, for being a, a faithful partner in prayer and in your generosity in helping CMM around the world. And you might have seen in our, our last uh, receipt letter uh, mentioning about ambassadors. So I wanted to talk a little bit briefly about CMM ambassadors. George, what is a CMM ambassador? Well, we know that we're all uh, ambassadors of the Lord, ambassadors from heaven, Nancy. And CMM ambassadors are people that have had um, a long-standing relationship with CMM and they're familiar with our heart and our passion, carrying on the, the vision uh, by our founders, Sydney and Helen Carell years ago, and people that can talk about um, the good soil and, and our efforts to be wise stewards with all the money that belongs to the Lord. Oh, that's really awesome. So, so in other words, if I wanted to be an ambassador, um, and I had um, connections outside of CMM, I could actually go and talk about what CMM's doing to involve other people. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. We're really blessed that, that we get to know a lot of our friends and family and the CMM family around the world. They could be uh, students in our school. They could be a long-term uh, friends and donors. Uh, and some are still alive that know Sydney and Helen Corral, some of our missionaries in Asia and, and South America, uh, knew the Corrells a long time ago, and we still have some of their supporters around. So it's like bridging the generations together. And then a lot of these people live in remote areas across the United States or in other countries around the world. And so an ambassador, somebody who has experience with CMM, and is pleased, and then going to tell their friends, their co-workers, their neighbors, church members, home group uh, partners about yeah. what CMM does. I was going to ask if I could, if I wanted to, maybe then I could um, share about a particular field that I'm engaged in. Maybe I'm I'm really interested in India or in Africa and, and a small group there that I've met through CMM, and I could br actually bring them by Zoom or by relationship into my home group maybe? Exactly. Could, could I also get them to pray for that group? Maybe they could become a, almost a sponsor of that group through prayer, maybe giving and uh, fasting to see that group grow in another part of the world. Is that what you're talking about? That's very, very much right on, Nancy. Wow. That'd be and, fun. And many of the our people, you know, they have personal relationships over a long period of time with that one missionary. It could oh, that... be so-and-so in Philippines or so-and-so in, in Bolivia or Ecuador or in India or uh, Mongolia. And and it's a way to share the friendship. And even we can set up Zoom meetings of where um, you know the supported missionary could meet online with people for prayer and further uh, strengthen their heart connections. Oh, that, that sounds like so much fun. And you know, I'm, I'm reminded now that we have this incredible podcast that um, that uh, Clifton Gattaboy has been doing mm -hmm. as he's interviewing a lot of the different missionaries. And so if you didn't get to know them, you can come to know them that way. Also, you've been showcasing them in different ways on Zoom meetings with different groups. So people could actually get to know them from a distance and then see if that's what they wanted to do. Is that what you're... That's, that's, that's exactly that's amazing. right, Nancy. And say so, someone or a group or a family has a heart for a particular people group or ethnicity. Or, or sex trade even. Or sex trade or orphans or orphans. widows or certain ethnicity. Yeah. We can connect you with people where we have visited them. Yeah. They have visited us. You can meet them online. So we know we all get blitzed with requests for funds. That's right. And how do we know um, that there's not some big layers in the middleman bureaucracy taking funds away from where we want to give. Well, CMM uh, helps bridge that gap of where we can have donors speaking with the, those supported in the fields and get to know each other, and it helps build uh, credibility and trust 
for prayer, for ongoing giving, achieving certain targets and things like that. So it's a great way to, to strengthen relationships. I love that. And you know what I love even more with this is that it's the relationships, but it's almost like, you know, we have something to offer them and they have something to offer us because, you know, the funny thing is sometimes if we are teaching to a different international group, they end up teaching us. So it's almost like that mix is so alive. We have that life in our classrooms, mm -hmm. but now we want to take it on steroids into, into the missions at where we can partner with your home group, small group, church group, friends, anything like that right yes and during the lockdowns you know it's more difficult to travel than it was two or five years or ten years ago but now we can travel through technology and and be a part of what the Lord's doing to redeem the technology to come against the evil and the ungodly things but to use it to build the kingdom of God yeah. to build uh, the local ministry and Nancy's exactly right that we often learn as much or more, but in a different area yeah. as, as the body, the bride of Christ comes together in fellowship and unity, along with maturity, with trusted relationships. So we encourage you to, to be an ambassador. It's not hard, it's easy. It's just sharing the passion of your heart and what you're familiar with being a part of CMM. You really are wherever you are. And we, we look forward to traveling around to different regions in the US or Canada to strengthen these relationships. You might want to even host yeah. a missions banquet in that your area. Great. And some of our people could come up and be speakers. And if our missionaries are in country, they could come up and share with you. We just had in the last uh, couple of weeks, um, Gustavo Cadena from Ecuador visiting with us. And that was just a precious time, lots of fun. We did get some work done, but it was just the family of God celebrating together. And then we had a, a friend that I used to work with a lot, her and her husband. Uh, they're from Nigeria originally. They're now back in Nigeria and spent a, a precious few hours with her here. And then yesterday we had a long-term friend, uh, Cristobal yes. Chamale, uh, from our uh, Chamale family in Guatemala here just for a few hours. And it was just great to see. And we'd love to introduce you to more friends so that we get a, a deeper understanding of God's heart for the nations. Because he said in Psalm 2, 8, ask of me and I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. And we deliver. Yeah. We'll, we'll bring the nations into your I, home or yeah. your church group. I think it's great because this way you can have your favorite missionary become your best friend. I mean, this is, they become really lifelong friends, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. So I think, George, I think this is a, an amazing idea and a great opportunity. It's not just, uh, we're not just asking for your money. We're asking for relationships and we're asking that you would become invested in the kingdom of God. I think it's just brilliant. It's, it's beautiful and it's and it's fun and it's God's heart and and we know when God's in it everybody wins That's and right. so we invite you to join in the great celebration of who God is not get caught up in the news or the tensions or the anxiety but keep our eyes focused on the Lord be about the father's business and helping expand the kingdom of God and doing it with Christ's mandate for missions Jesus said go into all the world and make disciples of all creations, lay hands on the sick, knowing they shall recover, uh, cast out demons in the name of the Lord, and if you drink any poison thing, it shall not harm you. And we just work together for the glory of our dear God for all eternity. Thank you. Thank you.